vlog. I'm getting ready right now to head out to Orange Theory. I have been doing morning classes as opposed to evening a bit more and I'm really seeing a big difference with my productivity and energy throughout the day and also just energy level on the workout itself. I feel like I'm getting a better workout in. I got my COVID booster shot at the very beginning of February or possibly, no, I think it was like January 30th, and now it's towards the end of the month. This vlog, by the way, is the compilation over the month of February. When the new variant really hit, I stopped going to Orange Theory. I didn't feel comfortable until I got the booster shot. If you're not boosted yet, you have the opportunity to do so now because the booster shots are available for anybody 18 and over who got Pfizer or Moderna either six or more months ago or if you got Johnson & Johnson two or more months ago. You can definitely feel like we have no control or protection with all the new information that is coming out daily and the potential for different variants. But the one thing that we do know is that getting vaccinated and boosted is still the best way to protect against serious illness. And according to the Washington Department of Health, unvaccinated 12 to 34 year olds are three times more likely to get COVID and they're eight times more likely to be hospitalized with it. And I really encourage you to go and get your booster shot if you haven't already done so. I'm headed out to Orange Theory now. Here's what I'm wearing. This top is from Girlfriend Collective and it's made out of recycled materials. They're an inclusive brand. I really love their activewear and their loungewear. And then I have a little matching scrunchie, how cute. Lululemon leggings. I've already got quite a bit of work done this morning. Um, I woke up at five and I couldn't go back to sleep. Usually I can head back to sleep and wake up at like seven. But in this case, I couldn't. So I worked on the computer. And then I have a couple other errands that I'm running today. I'm taking my mom to a doctor's appointment. And then I'm going to set up get everything prepared for a photo shoot and I have a new camera bag. Now it's not a backpack, it's not a crossbody bag. It's like a trunk, like a suitcase, a hard shell suitcase. And I've been using it for about a month or so and I love it so much. And this is since I haven't vlogged really since what, maybe Christmas time? Probably more like beginning of January. It's been a while. Um, I've been using it, loving it, and I'm excited to share it with you. So I'm gonna head out to Orange Theory and then I'll catch up later today. Camera bag update time. So I was using the Low Pro Freeline backpack for 2018, 2019, 2021, 2020, four years now. I still love it and I will definitely continue to use it for photo shoots. But for photo and video shoots for YouTube, I've kind of upgraded to this little trunk. This is a hard shell and it's from Manfrotto, which is the brand that I get my tripods from. They also sent me a tripod case. This was kindly given. This is actually TSA approved. You open it up and it's all protected here. And my favorite part about this bag is that it's fully customizable. So it reminds me a lot of my low pro backpack in the sense that I can take this Velcro off. It's nice and padded. You could also totally remove this if you want. All of the lenses, different batteries, camera body. It's just, it's a great, great, great option. It's on wheels. And then this is collapsible and it actually locks into place. This is where I have all of my audio gear for the, um, for the video shoot. And in here as well, I have an SD card case, again, from Low Pro. They sent me this new one from Low Pro, and this is just for like a camera body and maybe one or two lenses. And you could possibly also fit like accessories. I mean, you might even be able to fit. Yeah, you could fit this in here. I picked this out intending to use this for trips when I'm there for fun, bringing my camera because I want photos of myself, but I don't need to bring my backpack because I'm not working with clients. I just want like my 50 millimeter and possibly my 35 and I can put this in my carry-on suitcase and know that it's protected, possibly transfer it to like a tote bag if I needed to. Um, where I don't have to bring like an entire backpack with me. And I'm gonna have all of my favorites um, of these soft shell cases linked down below, as well as the trunk and then the backpack. We are going to hang up this very pretty print. Yeah, I think that looks good. I wanna do two prints above this overhang 
where it kind of ends here. One, two, yeah. really pretty. Maybe in that same kind of um, like walnut brown. I have one that has like a gold kind of on the side. Oh my goodness, I just saw that Anthropology came out with a new color of this mirror and it is so beautiful. It's like a little bit darker bronze, but it has this kind of like um, turquoise brushed on it. It, it. I think it's meant to look like tarnished metal. You know what I mean? It's so, so beautiful. I mean, I still love mine, but oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So, and then this is looking cute. And then I think I've decided on a chair for out here. And then maybe someday getting a, a table or a, another lamp for here, like a big feather one could be kind of cool. I hear Bumblebee. Hi, my love. Hi. All right, here is what the art looks like on the wall. So I'll have this link down below, um, the print. And one thing is I ordered 11 by 14. And that is the size of the print itself, but it does come on paper that is slightly larger. So you will need to trim it down. And I just think that this looks so beautiful. I love the Parisian location that it shot at. I love the black and white graphic stripes. I love the colors. It just looks so beautiful in this room. So I'm so happy with it and I love the walnut frame. It's Saturday evening and earlier this week I organized my closet here in my studio. Now, <laughs> this closet has been a catch-all for lots of items, haven't gone through it since I moved a year ago, and I have half my photo gear in here, half in another place, and I just want one place where I can put the majority of my gear, but also my office supplies, card things like that because they've been scattered all along the house. So I've already gone through, organized it. Now I have everything sorted out. So I'm gonna walk you through it. And then later tonight, my mom is going to hang up some shelves that I bought at the Home Depot earlier this summer. First off, here is the closet. Now this is the half that will have the shelves put up. Other half is still moving boxes. And then I also do have my seamless paper. Um, tucked away in this bit on this side. There are some random um, lamps. These lamps will be moved out. I actually have new shades that just came in for them. So here we have curtains. Maybe I can get my mom to hang up the curtains for in here because I also do have a curtain rod. Now this is kind of what I have got organized um, right now. So these are random bins and eventually it would be cool to get some that are like hard shell where everything is unison in the entire closet but for now this works great so most of the stuff used to be held in these amazing low pro soft shell organizer um pouches i had to be able to use these now in conjunction with my hard shell case from manfrotto which does come with um this insert these are over on the side but previously they had like all the batteries here we have battery chargers and then some batteries and then this is a charger for my audio gear which i'll show in a second and here i have my little tripod guys for like vlogging and then um lens hoods these will get organized somewhere else i have sd card holders and then i have some extra cf cards this i don't use so much anymore because i'm not shooting on a cf card but this is just like little bits um this is something like a phone tripod thing but it doesn't work the way that i need it to where it's like on a vertical and then i have this little moment lens for um your web camera which is cool and I believe you can also put this on the phone if you have the attachment. Here's my flash, some electrical tape for covering up logos. I cover up logos a lot of the times um, because in some sponsored content, like I can't have logos showing. If you notice, like I have to sometimes Photoshop the Apple logo out and paid partnerships, things like that. This is my little LED light for vlogging. I love this. You can change the intensity and then you can also change um, it like on the Kelvin scale. So from super warm to super cold. 
cold and I love putting this on my vlogging camera. It's also a great selfie light. <laughs> so this is what is in here and for now this makes sense. And then in this bin, you can see it's all kind of like upcycled things. Um, in here I have all of my lens filters. So these ones in the square are from Polar Pro and then the ones in the circle are from moment so these are lens caps and then these are all like lens cloths i thought that kind of made the most sense for this spot hi my love and then in the closet here i have all my audio gear and then i have hard drives and then these are my like card making things and then more storage just for cards office supplies moving boxes like i said i do need to find a solution for where i want to store like my low pro camera bag and then do you want out my love? <laughs> there, oh, watch out my love, watch out. There you go. Maybe he just wants to watch. So for my camera bag and then like my hard shell bag and then my tripod case. Okay, it's Monday and the shelves are up in the closet. How amazing is my mom? The <laughs> These three are all hung on the stud and then these three are not. And I'm so excited so she made it so that these bins can perfectly um, fit in there. And then I can put like this one up here on this taller one. I'm so happy this is going to make such a big difference. Here is my update so far. Now I definitely want to get some more of these size bins at Ikea and get like four more so I can put two here and then two here. Um, or maybe I should reserve this for taller items. And here I have my film cameras. They're all able to like stand up with lots of room and it's just great to consolidate. This is my audio stuff. All these have lids. But I decided to put it, like this is all stuff that I reach for all the time, so it doesn't really make sense to have the lids on them right now. So this is like mobile stuff and vlogging. Um, my vlogging tripod actually fits in here perfectly. And the only random parts are like this electrical tape and then I have my flash. So maybe I'll find somewhere else to put um, those, but for now it works great. These are like my lens filters, lens hoods. This is my 51.8. Um... And I do plan on putting lenses probably in like this size and just having them all stand up. I don't have that many, so it would fit. It'd probably fit in something like this, honestly. Um, and then here's all my chargers and batteries for my cameras. And then this is SD stuff. These are empty, um, but I have like my CF reader. And then these are used SD cards that I have for YouTube videos. If these were like client files, they would be handled in a different way. 
but this is like don't use the, don't delete these until the video is up and then this will have random office supplies like white out and then my tape and then here's like my notebooks this is card stuff colored pencils watercolor stuff and then markers new hard drives that I just got in I want to put hard drives in another one of these bins and maybe have it down here and then this is going to be like receipts and things for returns just for now I haven't had like organization like this other than under my bathroom sink since being in my house and I am very organized when it comes to sorting and so this is just so exciting for me so again it's only on this half this has more moving boxes and then my seamless paper but I think that if I can really get a system down I might be able to start kind of dealing with the moving box situation eventually so now all of this is clear I'm so excited and so so happy for this all of the curtain tie backs are in and today we're going to hang them up so these are from anthropology and you can frequently find these on sale they even make a list on karma which is like a Google plugin and then it will alert you when they do go on sale. So we have these two peacock ones and then four of these iron ones. So these peacocks are going to go on this back accent wall here. Fireplace should be retiled by my next vlog. I'm very excited. So the peacocks will go over here and then the black will go um, along this wall and on the slider door. Um, and then I think I have found the rug for out here, I think I'm gonna go with dark green, kind of over dyed. My goodness okay <laughs> I just brought these all up because I have two new pairs of boots from Aloha's this is one of the most exciting things I can include in a vlog so Aloha's which is my favorite place to buy shoes I have about six pairs I've purchased on my own reached out to me and gifted me two pairs two pairs of boots so I discovered Aloha's from a Google search when I was looking for the perfect pair of white boots and then I saw that they're sustainable ethical and they produce on demand so they're not like in overproduction and that kind of reduces the amount of things in the landfill it has like the um, wooden heel and bit right here and then I got this pair for my family for Christmas same style with the wooden but in the faux croc brown because I wore these white ones so much and at first I wasn't sure if I'd get that much use out of a pair of white boots but these are my most worn. They do pre-order and when you pre-order you can get percent off. So I got these for $75 whereas when it was the full price I believe you were looking at like 120 I don't remember but the point is you can get them for pre-order and then they have production and then the full price and then they're always running other like 30% sales so you never have to buy the Aloha shoes at full price the quality is definitely higher than like Steve Madden or Sam Edelman kind of those like mid-tier brands that you would find at Nordstrom I know as photographers it's really hard for us to find a cute pair of shoes that are also maybe trendy <laughs> Or somewhat in style like we don't just want to wear nude ballerina flats all the time this is a great option for photographers so I'm gonna show you what I already have and I'll have all of these linked down below because now I'm gonna affiliate with Aloha's and then I'll share the two boots that I got so the pair that I have been wearing the most besides those white boots are these loafers wanted a pair of chunky loafers I ordered a pair from Sam Edelman and they just look like clown shoes on me the proportions were really off and it was like this bright white patent leather it just looked like a costume these are perfect because the proportions I love how it tapers up ever so slightly I love the ratio of the platform to the actual shoe I love this beige color these you have to break in um, they gave me quite a few blisters for the first three times that I wore them so wear blister band-aids and in the back so so here's one thing for sizing so I'm typically a US size 7 but in Aloha's I order a 37 the first time I ordered these guys I got a 38 
which would be a US size 7, and it was too big. The next pair of shoes I already talked about are these. Very nice, simple. I don't really have any ankle booties, and so I like this color. And then lastly is a whole different type of shoe. That's not usually something I would go for, but I got these with the intention of swapping them out for like my rain boots. As you can see, I've already worn them quite a bit. For Seattle, this is a really fun, kind of different option for boots. Okay, so now I haven't even opened these. I'm so excited and so grateful. So when they asked me what I would like, I was like, I'm gonna do another knee-high boot, but in a extremely versatile, I'm gonna go with the more boring option of black, and then I saw that they also had a camel color because I know I'm gonna get the most use out of the block, maybe even more so than these cream ones. These are my number one recommendation. Always, um, if you sign up for an account, you can get like 25% off and then if you buy in production. So just keep your eye on the Aloha's website and I recommend buying from Aloha's website, not from like Revolve or Anthropology, because that's where it's gonna be full price, which I guess if the shoe is already full price on Aloha's then you could go either way. Oh my goodness, I love it. So I got this, the North Style boots in two different colorways. So let's do the first one is the North Total Black. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about this silhouette. How cool. This shoe could sway 90s or it could be 70s. And then look at this heel. So let's do a little comparison. This is just a tinge bit higher, but same kind of toe. Same seam down the middle of the toe, which I love. Oh, these are so cool. And I love that these are completely black. So I went for these because I know I'll get the most use out of them. Okay, and so then the next pair, I love this really rich caramel. It's so beautiful. Again, same heel. I like that you have the side zip. So when you're standing, you don't actually see the zip versus some boots like do in the back. I just think this looks so much nicer. I love how flat the zipper is on all of these. Um, you know, it's no like chunky metal situation, which I guess is fine in some circumstances, but they're just really streamlined classic boots. Also like the, what is this called? Like the slope is a bit different. Oh my goodness, this is seriously so amazing. I love Aloha. So like I said, I'm an affiliate. I'll have all of those shoes that I shared today linked down below. My top recommendations are always and forever going to be these in this colorway, but they have so many different styles, so many different colors. Like for these, I believe there's like 10 different color options. If you like the heel and you like this, but you don't want a, a knee high, they make them in booty form. Same for these. And then they even have where it's like a split color. If you want black on one side and then like cream on the other, they have bright orange. There are so many different options. And I like how they have different, like a set amount of classic styles and then options within that. So thank you so much, Alohas. I'm so excited. This is seriously such a dream. And I will link all these below. My second pick would be these. But again, just be forewarned. Think about like when you have to break in a pair of Doc Martens. That's the same thing with these, but they're great to swap out sneakers. And I can't wait to start wearing these. So I actually am about to head out to a photo shoot at the studio. I'm gonna do two outfits and then um, for my own content and then a model is coming and I have all my gear packed up. Here's what I'm gonna be wearing to the studio to shoot my first look in. It's both from LA Apparel. These are the pants I'm always talking about for photographers for like weddings. Um, they pack down really nicely. They're thin, so they're gonna work no matter what climate you're in. My favorite item of all from LA Apparel are these knit tops. I have them in like five colors now. I wear them all the time. They're really good quality, really thick. So this is my first outfit I'm gonna shoot and then I'm gonna do like a black belt with it. And then I have a little LA Apparel tennis skirt in green cardigan and then I'm gonna be doing another one of these knit tops in lime green and then some J. Crew printed floral pants um, to shoot in because the model's wearing dark green. So I always like to coordinate a bit. This has been a compilation of clips over the month of February. And going into March, I have so many fun home updates. Actually, the tiling on my fireplace is almost done, but I'm gonna save it for full results and results for the next vlog. So be sure that you hit subscribe so you're the first to know when new videos like this come out and free photography tutorials for your business. You can follow me over on Instagram for photography and for more home content and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!